as you can see, I've bought a bath. And I've also started preparing a false wall here to hide the pipework in behind the bath. Now baths in France seem to have, or well, they don't seem to have, taps in them. They have the taps fixed to the wall and the bath is free underneath it. In the UK a lot of bathtubs have taps fixed into them. So that's why I've got the false wall going up so I can hide the pipes in that and have it looking nice with the taps just coming out the wall. The thing is I need to know where to put the taps and how high up to put the taps so that's why I've now got a bath. Uh, this bath is shaped, it's got some armrests in it and it also allows me to figure out the layout of the room. I need to put the legs on the bath and lift it up. Um, a lot of people would have seemed to like freestanding baths, but I want this bath to have a shower over the top of it. And if you have a freestanding bath, you then need shower curtains and things. First thing I need to do is get the legs and feet put on the bottom of the bath so it lifts it up to the right height. So there we go, that's where I'm going to put the bath, it's level and I now know the height and whereabouts I've got to put the pipework for the taps. So move the bath out of the way, get on with some pipework. It's amazing how I do a little bit each day and it adds up and then the next time I do videoing it looks like I've done loads. Uh, so what have I done? Well with the bath in place I knew where the taps were so I've run the hot and cold feed for those. I've built a stand for the sink. This is another reclaimed sink. Again, it goes with the style house, and I've built a uh, what will be a cupboard next to it with some worked up on top of it for toiletries and things. And what I've got to do today is underneath the sink here, I've got the tap connectors, and with the sink in place, I know where I'm going to put these tap connectors on the wall. And there's real down through the floor, the pipe's going to run under the floor and then back up in the corner under the bath and join on with the feeds.
quick update on the bathroom. All the pipe work is in for the water feed. I have water to all the taps now. As you can see, the tap comes out of the wall over the bath. Uh, this is a plasterboard wall I built to hide the pipe work and the electric cables in here. I've still got to finalise the waste pipes. They're all in position. I just needed the bath to get in its final position, which it is now, and then I can. Uh, glue all them together and I have got the toilet in over this side and that's all plumbed in and working. So the job today is to get the path in its final position with the fixings underneath it to hold it in position and then glue all the waste pipes together. Down in the first floor bathroom, this is where the pipe work comes through from the bathroom above. And I've got the bath waste comes through there, runs along, picks up the sink waste, and then goes underneath the joists along. And then finally joins into the main stack up in the corner. I was always going to have the pipes run like this. That's why I've never finished off the ceiling in this room because I want to do that access for the pipe work. But once these pipes are glued in place, then I can put in a false ceiling in this room. And this will be another room almost ready for decorating, really. Now that the bath is in place, it's time to waterproof these walls. Um, I'm going to put a shower over the top of the bath, so this plasterboard needs to be waterproofed. And to do that, I'm going to use a waterproofing kit that I got from the local DIY place. It's a paint on rubber uh, membrane, for want of a better word, similar to what I did in the shower downstairs. Um, And this is the stuff that I'm going to be using. It comes with a primer, which I've already put on 
the walls leave it for two hours to dry I've left it overnight and then today I'm going to be putting on this stuff over the joints and then painting on the actual waterproofer and it should have two coats of that so let's get on with that So there we go, that's three coats of the waterproofing applied to the walls. Um, obviously this will be tiled over eventually, but the waterproofing behind it just stops any damage if it goes through the grout. I've also taken the time this afternoon to put up some coving, just to finish the join between the walls and the ceiling. You'll see it just fades away into the curve along this beam but I think that's just going to finish that off it goes all the way around to above the door and again into the curve of the ceiling so that's pretty much the bathroom done up here for now I need to get some tiles, I need to get some Timber to clad the bath and the sink unit with. Um, need to just box in these pipes in the corner. The toilet's in and working. Need to get some flooring um, and paint everywhere. But obviously, I'm not going to be, be doing very much in here until I've had the ceiling put back up after the roof is done. And that's a couple of months away yet, so that's it in here for now. This is a fiberglass bath. I like fiberglass baths because unlike metal baths, they keep the heat in the water. Whereas a metal bath tends to leach out all the heat out of the water very quickly. Um, the bad point on a fiberglass bath is you have to support them to stop them flexing and as you can see I put a wooden framework all the way around there's also a piece across the back and the front and what I have also done is I've used some adjustable kitchen cabinet feet to build a plinth under the middle of the bath so that will stop the bottom flexing as well you shouldn't need to do that the feet that they provide should be enough as you can see I've put a metal angle plate on here and bolted it down to the floor to stop it moving so the bath is really rigid now it doesn't move anywhere This really is the last part of the video now. I'm just to show you that I have given all the plasterboard a coat of sealer primer in the bathroom. And I've also done the same in the hallway. So this is looking a lot nicer up here now 